You are listening to a cassette recording of a channeling session from The Raw Contact, a series of 106 sessions that were conducted between 1981 and 1984 using a form of tuned trance telepathy. Throughout these sessions, a group of entities identified as Ra shared information regarding the Law of One, spiritual evolution, and a variety of esoteric topics through a series of questions and answers. The full text transcript of these recorded sessions can be read for free at lnlresearch.org, where you can also learn more about this audio and its origins. This recording is intended for personal study and is not available for commercial use. Please contact LNL Research if you wish to use this audio in any other way. Raw number 64, July 26th, 1981. I greet you in the love and in the light of the one infinity creator. We communicate now. First, tell me the condition of the instrument. I am wrong. It is as previously stated, with the exception of a transitory a distortion, lessening the free flow of a vital energy. Can you tell what the transitory distortion is? I am. Yeah. This is marginal information. Then we will question on so I would like to ask first about a mistake I believe that I might have made in the last session on the number of wanderers on earth today. Did I make an error? principles behind the ritual which we perform to initiate the contact and what I would call the basic white magical principles of um, protection and other Principles. Would you please do this? I am due to your avenue of question. We perceive the appropriateness of inclusion of the cause of this 
instruments transitory a vital energy a distortion the cause is a bias towards the yearning or expression of a devotion to the one creator in group worship this entity was yearning for this protection both consciously in that it responds to the accoutrements of this expression the ritual the colors and their meanings as given by the distortion system of what you call the church the song of praise and the combined prayers of thanksgiving and most of all that which may be seen to be the most centrally magical of the intake of that of food which is not of this dimension but has been transmuted into metaphysical nourishment in a water this uh, a distortion of expression uh, calls uh, the uh, holy uh, communion uh, the uh, subconscious uh, reason it uh, being uh, the uh, stronger for this yearning was the awareness that such expression is when appreciated by an entity as the a trans a mutation into the a presence of the one a creator a, a great a protection of the entity as it moves in the path of a service to others the a principle behind any ritual of the white a magical nature is to so configure the stimuli 
which reach down into the trunk of a mind that this arrangement causes the generation of disciplined and a purified emotion or a love which then may be both protection and the key to the gateway to intelligent infinity. Can you tell me why the slight error made in the ritual starting this communication two sessions ago allowed the intrusion of one Orion affiliated entity. I am wrong. This contact is narrow band and its preconditions precise the other cell offering its a service in the a negative path also is a possessed of the skill of the swordsman you deal in this contact with, shall we say, forces of a great intensity poured into a, a vessel as a delicate, as a, a snowflake, and as a crystalline. The smallest of elapses may a disturb the irregularity of this a pattern of energies which forms the a channel for these the transmissions. We may note for your information that our pause was due to the necessity of a being quite sure that 
the mind, a body, a spirit, a complex of the instrument was safely in the proper light configuration or a density before we dealt with the situation far better would it be to allow the shell to become unviable than to allow the mind, a body, a spirit, a complex to be, shall we say, misplaced. Could you describe or tell me of rituals or technique used by Ra in seeking in the direction of service? to speak of that which a sixth density, a social memory, a complexes, a labor within in order to advance is at best misprision of plain communication for much is lost in a transmission of concept from a density to density and the a discussion of sixth density is inevitably distorted greatly. However, we shall attempt to speak to your query for it is an helpful one in that it allows us to express once again the total unity of a creation we seek the Creator upon a level of shared experience to which you are not a prisoner. 
Prithi and or rather than surrounding ourselves in light we have become light our understanding is that there is no other material except light. Our rituals, as you may call them, are an infinitely subtle continuation of the balancing processes which you are now beginning to experience we seek now without polarity thus we do not invoke any a power from a without for our search has become internalized as we become light love and love light these are the balances we seek the balances between compassion and wisdom which more and more allow our understanding of experience to be informed that we may come closer to the unity with the one creator which we so joyfully seek your rituals at your level of progress contain the concept of polarization and this is most central at your particular space time we may answer a further if you have a specific queries would it be helpful if Ra 
order to describe the techniques used while Ra was in third density to evolve in mind, body, and spirit. I am Ra. This query lies beyond the law of confusion. What about fourth density experience with of Ra? Would that also lie beyond the law of confusion? This is correct. Let us express a thought. Ra is not elite. To speak of our specific experiences to a, a group which honors us is to guide to the a point of a specific advising our work was that of your peoples of experiencing the catalyst of joys and sorrows. Our circumstances were somewhat more harmonious. Let it be said that any entity or a group may create the most splendid harmony in any outer atmosphere. Ra's experiences are no more than your own. Yours is the dance at this space and time in a third a density harvest. Area. I 
and we apologize for seeming to be so shy of information. However, any words upon this particular subject create the possibility of infringement upon a free will previous session you mentioned the gateway of magic for the adept occurring in 18 day cycles. Could you expand on that information please? I am the mind, body, the spirit complex is born under a series of influences of both a lunar, a planetary, cosmic, and in some cases, karmic. The moment of the birthing into this illusion begins the cycles we have mentioned the spiritual or adept cycle is an 18 day cycle and operates with the qualities of the sign wave. Thus, there are a, a few excellent days on the positive side of the curve that being the first nine days of the cycle precisely the fourth the fifth and the sixth when workings are the most appropriately undertaken given that the entity is still a without total conscious control of its mind body, a spirit, a distortion, a reality. 
the most interesting portion of this information like that of each cycle is the noting of the a critical point wherein a passing from the ninth to the tenth and from the eighteenth to the first days the adept will experience some a difficulty especially when there is a, a transition occurring in another cycle at the same time at the nadir of each cycle the adept will be at its least powerful but will not be open to difficulties in nearly the degree that it experiences at a critical times. Then to uh, find the cycles, we would take the instant of birth and the emerging of the infant into from the mother into this density and start the cycle at that instant and continue it through the life. Is this correct? I am this is a mostly a correct it is not necessary to identify the instant of a birthing the diurnal a cycle upon which this event occurs is satisfactory for all but the most fine workings. Assuming that whatever magic the adept would perform would be more successful or, shall we say, more to his design than that performed at less opportune times in the cycle. I am well. This cycle is an helpful tool to the adept, but as we said, 
as the adept becomes more balanced, the workings designed will be dependent less and less upon these cycles of opportunity and more and more even in their efficacy. And I have no ability to judge of whether uh, at what point at what uh, level of abilities the adept would reach this point of being uh, shall we say independent of the cyclical action but, uh, can you give me an indication of what level of adeptness that would be necessary to be and be so independent I am wrong. we are fettered from speaking specifically due to this group's work for to speak would seem to be to judge however we may say that you may consider this cycle in the same light as the so-called astrological balances within your group that is they are interesting but not critical thank you uh, I read that uh, recent research has indicated that the normal sleep cycle for entities on this planet occurs one hour later each diurnal period so that we have a 25 hour cycle instead of a 24. Is this correct and if so why is this? I am wrong. This is in some cases correct the planetary influences from which those of Mars experience memory have some effect upon these third a density a physical a bodily a complexes this race has a given its a genetic a material to many a body
Ra mentioned the one Stuart and Douglas in a recent session. These are members of what we call our medical profession. What is the value, overall value, shall I say, of modern medical techniques in alleviating bodily distortions with respect to the purpose for these distortions uh, and what we might call karma and other effects. I am wrong. This query is convoluted. However, we shall make some observations in lieu of attempting one coherent answer for that which is allopathic among your healing practices is somewhat two-sided. Firstly, you must see the possibility probability that each and every allopathic healer is in fact an healer within your a cultural nexus. This training is considered the appropriate means of perfecting the healing ability. In the most basic sense, any allopathic healer may be seen to perhaps be one whose desire is service to others in alleviation of a bodily complex and a mental emotional complex distortions so that the entity to be healed may experience further catalyst over a longer period of what you call the life. This is a great service to others when appropriate due to the accumulation of the distortions toward a wisdom and love 
which can be created through the use of the space-time continuum of your illusion. In observing the allopathic concept of the body complex as a machine, we may note the symptomology of a a societal complex seemingly dedicated to the most intransigent desire for the distortions of distraction, anonymity, and sleep. This is the result rather than the cause of societal thinking upon your plane. In turn, this mechanical concept of the body complex has created the continuing proliferation of distortions towards what you would call ill health due to the strong chemicals used to control and hide bodily distortions. There is a a realization among many of your peoples that there are more efficacious systems of healing not excluding the allopathic, but also including the many other avenues of healing. Let us assume that a bodily distortion occurs uh, within a particular entity. Who then has a choice of seeking allopathic aid or experiencing the catalyst of the distortion. and not seeking correction of a distortion. 
can you comment on two possibilities for this entity and his analysis of each path? I am wrong. If the entity is polarized towards service to others, analysis properly proceeds along the lines of a consideration of which path offers the most opportunity for service to others. For the negatively a polarized entity, the antithesis is the case. For the unpolarized entity, the considerations are random and most likely in the direction of the distortion towards comfort. Understand, brother, four-toed Bigfoot cast back here the other day. Uh, could you tell me which form of Bigfoot that cast was? I am wrong. We again. I know it's totally unimportant, but. Uh, uh, as a service to Dr. Monroe, I thought that I should ask that. I am wrong. This entity was one of a small group of thought forms. He also asked, and I know this is not important, why there were no Bigfoot remains found. That is, if after the Bigfoot entities had died on our surface, he had asked why there had never been any remains of these entities found. Could you answer this for him? It's, it's of no importance, but uh, just as a service to him, I ask. I am wrong. You may suggest that exploration of the caves which underlie some of the western a coastal a mountain a regions of your continent will one day offer such a remains they will not be a generally understood if uh, this uh, culture uh, survives in its present form 
are long enough in your time measurement for this a probability possibility vortex to occur there is enough energy for one more full query at this time. In the healing exercises, when you say examine the sensations of the body, do you mean those sensations available to the body by the five senses are in relation to the natural functions of the body, such as touching, loving, sexual sharing, and company? Or are you speaking of something else altogether? I am wow. The a questioner may perceive its body complex at this moment. It is experiencing sensations. Most of these sensations or in this case nearly all of them are transient and without interest. However, the body is the creature of the mind. Certain sensations carry importance due to the charge or power which is felt by the mind upon the experience of this sensation. For instance, at this space time nexus, one sensation is carrying a powerful charge and may be examined. This is the sensation of what you call the distortion towards a discomfort due to the cramped position of the body complex during this working. In a balancing, you would then explore this sensation. Why is this sensation powerful? Because it was chosen in order that the entity might be of service to others in energizing this contact. Each sensation that leaves the aftertaste of meaning 
upon the mind that leaves the taste within the memory shall be examined. These are the sensations of which we speak. May we answer any brief queries before we leave this instrument. Anything we could do to make the instrument more comfortable or improve contact? I am well. Continue to consider the alignments. You are conscientious and aware of the means of caring for the instrument in its present distortions having to do with the wrists and hands as always a love is the greatest protection I am I leave you my friends in the glorious love and joyful light of the infinite creator go forth then rejoicing in the power and in the peace of the one infinite creator Adonai Mm-hmm.